What is happening, Reject Nation? It is Greg Alba here. And it's John Humphrey over here. We're going to watch the trailer today for Future, Future Man. Man Hulu TV series. You know, uh, there's a lot of TV shows on Hulu that are supposedly good. Yeah, like the way that one with James Franco. Yeah, and this show is directed by uh, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. They did not write it, but they direct it. I think it's the first time they're directing something that they did not actually write. Oh, man, taking a plunge. So that's a pretty big deal. So if this trailer's good enough, I might actually have to get a Hulu account now. It's uh -oh. It's the one streaming service I don't have. I have everything else. And then pretty soon you're going to have right. to get the Disney one. You have to get Pop. You got to get, get Paramount Network. <laughs> yeah. Get every app for every yeah. station and pay eight bucks for, yeah. for it. And pretty soon you're just paying what you would pay for cable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Page of the Day shout out going to be for Nathan Wilton today. <laughs> Did you guys ever think that I'd be doing something more with my Ed life? Begley. You walk into work, you're curing disease. Whoa. I'm not curing disease. <laughs> what about your video game? You're the best at it, right? Welcome to the resistance. Congratulations. You are the savior. We've come back from the year 2162. Huh. Everything that happens in the biotic wars is real. What? The game is a recruitment and training tool sent back in time to find the one person with the skills to save us. You're the first and only person to have beaten the game. That's the last Starfighter. It's the exact same plot as the movie. What's a, what's a movie? Is this part of your arsenal of weaponry? No, no, please don't. That, that's an assigned... Oh, my God! I paid my only Bitcoin for that! Huh? The key to stopping Elias Crowley. That man's research leads to the annihilation of the entire human race. No, he's working on a cure for herpes. It's what we're fighting here. A good fight. You're telling me that a cure for herpes would bring down all of mankind. Holy shit. Welcome to the resistance. Okay. Oh! We're in the future, right there. Go back in time. We killed baby clones. Uh oh. Absolutely not. You cannot kill a baby. They're invincible. No, they are helpless and they're very soft. Perfect. Easy kill. We're <laughs> <laughs> getting herpes. He never creates the cure. And we can stop this whole cycle before it even begins. We cock block him. Here's a little something I brought with me from the future. Yo, Tina! You know that new dance movie, your little brother Michael was looking at? <laughs> Looks like Looks you're like gonna I'm have to <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah. great Damn it. more entertainment I wanna check out. Aw <laughs> oh, crap. First world problems. <laughs> That looks so entertaining. It does look entertaining. Incredibly I entertaining. I like that Josh Hutcherson, you know that? You know, after coming off the Hunger Games, he's in the trailer for Tragedy Girls, which okay. is a horror comedy. Okay. And now he's a star of this Hulu show, which is a sci-fi comedy. Dude. And Genre comedies. I'm, I'm happy that he's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> the Hunger Games, I imagine, takes a huge toll on you. He looks like comedy might be better suited for him. I, I, I think, still want to see detention. Cool. Yeah, that yeah. horror comedy he busted on the scene with. Because yeah. I feel like he's got you know the personality and the timing. Because that's well, sort of I've what I've seen I, him in interviews, and he's pretty funny. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel like that's one thing that it doesn't really have a place in the Hunger Games, I guess. But you know, it's one thing yeah. that you don't get a sense for as much 
from yeah. him there. And I feel like that's a tremendous asset to him as an and actor. I don't know how much Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg actually directed of uh, this series. It might have just been the pilot. Just like, the first 10 minutes. First 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Just whatever's before the first opening credit. <laughs> they seem like the perfect people to set up something like this. Yeah. Because if there's one thing you can count on with those guys is genre comedy splicing. And, they, and like 80s nostalgia references. Like beyond 80s. It looks like they're going, it's a time travel show. That's the cool thing about them. They do spoof but they also make it cool. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. and I, I feel like the futuristic stuff, that's what's going to be exciting about it, is mm -hmm. it'll be some funny just time travel references that we're aware of or that we might have seen done before, but they'll they'll make it funny, they'll make, make fun it of it, but they'll yeah. also make it really cool. <laughs> I and mean, this is the end. is kind of scary at times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a movie that doesn't skimp on what genre it is and it doesn't uh, get afraid yeah. to be imposing and be kind of uncomfortable and stuff. Yeah, yeah they're good at, at, at playing up all of the important elements of the genres that they're working in and it looks like they're working in a few different ones here it's funny because like i was getting vibes of terminator and uh, back to the future and well anything that deals with time travel they're they're, yeah. they're dealing with their homage there yeah one well, and a couple times they called stuff out they were like you know they did that whole back the to the future yeah <laughs> i was gonna open the photo <laughs> it's your cousin tito <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's like, yeah, yeah. And the whole last Starfighter thing, like, you can tell that this is probably really self-aware. Yeah. And that's something that, to me... And also that you know, bro geek culture references is, yeah. is something huge with these guys, you know? And that makes me, you know, excited and curious to see well, what all they're going to bring in in terms of references. Because yeah. that's always, like, a fun bingo card with these guys, I feel like. I feel like in the hands of most filmmakers, this kind of thing would be might just be goofy or cheesy. That's the main, the main thing about I love about this is it looks actually really cool and exciting, but also hilarious at yeah. the same time. Yeah, you know? it looks like they got a little production value on that. I'm excited <laughs> for it, man. I'm excited for it. Oh yeah, and before we wrap up this video, Nathan Wilton, here's your shout out, buddy. He's uh, one of our Australian patrons. Oh dude, I uh, bet Nathan Wilton would love it. If I this feel like Nathan Wilton would love it. He's a gamer. <laughs> he he has like a VR set. He has a crazy computer setup. He's all about technology. I feel like Nathan. Wilson could relate to this Josh Hutcherson character. Yeah, I feel like this would be the kind of adventure Nathan Wilton's life would, would embark upon, you know, for yeah. real. The only difference is, is Nathan Wilton gets laid a lot more. It seems like, yeah. yeah. It doesn't seem like He's Josh Hutcherson is, is making it happen. In yeah, this. Josh Hutcherson looks more like relatable and nerdy and shy and yeah. introverted. Nathan Wilton uh, is sexy and I believe Australian when we accent. did a Google Hangout, he, he was getting laid while we were doing the Hangout. Yeah, it was sort of like we were talking to his sex tape and was then sort of how I felt. He canceled the last one. <laughs> this one's actually true. <laughs> he canceled the last one. Because he was in bed with someone. <laughs> the <last one>. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I heard that. <laughs> Go to the message. I'm going to. I'm going to check it right now. Yeah. Nathan Wilton, my friend. Uh, we got to have another Google Hangout going, buddy. Thank you for being a part of our Patreon. You are one sexy nerd. I don't know what your sister looks like, but if she looks anything like you... That does nothing for me because you live in Australia. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Dat John Humphrey on Twitter and uh. Instagram. He is the social media manager of Reject Nation. Take care, people.